Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit about the um, B&G radar. Um, this is obviously the B&G um, Zeus display, but um, my understanding is that actually all the radar domes are made by uh, the same manufacturer and they just put a different label on them. That's what I believe. But anyway, so this is how the interface works. Um, this is kind of your view at night time. So just as, as is the normally the case, you zoom in and zoom out. Um, depending on what range you are, but you'll notice this big blue circle that I've got here and that's what we call a guard zone. So I can switch and toggle it on and off here. You can see it's off there now and I've just set up my guard zone so you can even change this, the shape, uh, whatever. Um, so we've got a guard zones um, and the sensitivity as well. So look here I go sector, shape, if I change the sector, um, let's see I can actually, um, uh, let's see adjust. And then uh, the uh, see the range is about about right. I'll just increase the range a little bit. Um, so I just got to keep an eye on uh, the wind speed here. Um, so yeah, the width. I'm going to increase that so that she uh, covers pretty well around like this. Now, why I do that? I leave a little bit at the back. But you'll notice that every so often, and maybe somebody might be able to help me how to get rid of it, but. Uh, um, yeah, it's a little bit annoying in that um, sometimes you get a bit of a target splash in the back here. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's largely because um, the mast and the whole thing's jigging or whatever. So there we go, that's, um, that's actually a sector, it's nearly a full circle, but um, just to avoid the splash which set, sets off the alarm when you're trying to get a bit of sleep. Um, and you can see it there, that's actually a false target, that's just what popped up. So let's just save that guard zone. Um, in fact, you can actually do two guard zones. What's really cool about um, this BNG, in fact, you have um, uh, two different radars. And why that's relevant um, is if you have two screens here, let's set up the two screens and this one's not switched on. So you can have one set up with, for its sensitivity to detect ships. And then this one could be set up um, to detect bad weather. Uh, so that's pretty handy, say for example if you're um, you know, pretty risque and you've got your spinnaker up and um, you were detecting uh, bad weather, say over the Atlantic or something on a big crossing, um, you can um, have it so that it alarms when it detects a constant target. And I use the word target because um, usually <clears throat> with radar that's um, the term we use. Now, what's even cooler? As you can see, um, here is my chart at the moment. Um, I've got all my various bits and pieces which I've added. You can switch and toggle that off if you want. The instrument bar can go on and off. But I quite like it. It's handy at a quick glance. Um, so, yeah, basically, um, you can see my course over ground at the moment is uh, about um, 103 magnetic. Um, and then uh, with, on my radio, what I've done, I've, I've actually set up it so that it's got true on my radio. It's just quite handy because I've got my map here in front of me, which is obviously true, um, and I've got my compass up at the helm if I've got magnetic. Um, so um, my mission is obviously to uh, head up um, towards, um, I've got a pal that works and he's got a business up here um, in New York and Minorca. And um, it took me a couple of goes to get past this point uh, today. It was really quite rough. Um, so I turned back, chilled, went, got some dinner and a few beers, and then uh, had some kip, and then I came back to it again. And um, yeah, so what, what else you can do is I basically overlaid the radar on top of the chart. Um, and that's what that is. You can see that red. Um, and so it means you can still follow your, your chart and um, then also see any potential targets. So yeah, that's quite handy. And um, there's one last thing um, if you want to get really advanced about things, but it's going to be difficult to show you because I haven't got any targets. But what you can do is see this this is the land obviously uh, showing up here it's a constant target um, but say for example I had this red out here somewhere and it was occasionally popping up what I can do is I can um, go over to acquire targets um, um, and um, you really need to have the cursor touching on something first and then you do acquire targets and once you do that you can do finish acquiring and um, it's a thing called MARPA, basically, um, acronyms galore, but what it does, uh, it'll calculate, um, if there is a, a recurring target there, it'll calculate its speed and bearing, and um, you can even leave it so it ghosts a pattern so you can get an idea of what direction it is so you can see if it's a danger or not. Pretty sexy stuff in my view, um, very, very handy. 
And now if I just go and relax a little bit, uh, I can put my head down and if the alarm goes off, I know that it's probably something I should pay attention to.